during the summer, we have to pay attention to calories. So the ve vegetables are okay. You can eat as much vegetables as you like. You can avoid uh, onion, maybe, because they are diuretic and you need uh, a good hydration during uh, the summer. If you want to eat fruit, try uh, to eat as they have been done by Mother Nature. For hydration, I suggest you the uh, watermelon. I suggest this to be eaten uh, alone, so like a snack. You can eat the melon since there is le less water. You can eat in a meal, for example, with some ham. Because if there is uh, too much water in the stomach during digestion, it's not uh, uh, easy for your stomach for digestion. What is very important for the fruit is that you consume how Mother Nature did it. So uh, if you can uh, wa um, uh, wash it well, you can eat also with the peel. Uh, differently, you should peel it and eat like it, it is done. Don't squeeze it and please don't filter the fruit because when you separate the fibers from the rest of the, the fruit, uh, you increase the glycemic index of them. But what about the uh, salad uh, fruit? Yeah, you can mix them, but uh, which is very important that you have not to use sugar. country we like to eat uh, tomatoes with cheese you can eat more tomatoes and less cheese uh, because cheese you know it is uh, it contains a lot of calories so during the summer not too much cheese more tomatoes can we combine the vegetables in I don't know one one salad oh yes yeah, so of what course. can we combine uh, you can combine all over you uh, all the vegetables vegetables you want, uh, uh, but you have to pay attention to the color if you are following a keto diet. Uh, the color reveals uh, the quantity of sugar they contain. Uh, eat the green one, pay attention to the yellow one, no the red one. Oh, the aubergine, I love the aubergine. Uh, they contain very few calories and a lot of fiber. So you feel full of some uh, precious minerals. It is very important during the, the, the summer when it is very hot. But pay attention how much oil you use because the aubergine is like a sponge. It absorbs everything. Oh, I love leguminous. They are very good source of proteins, of amino acids. Uh, Carne seracilor. Uh, uh, Carne seracilor. Mm -hmm. uh, because they are very, uh, they, they are very cheap. They, they don't cost a lot, but they're very rich in proteins. But they are not complete. And I see that they are prepared here uh, with cereal together. Also, cereal are very rich in proteins and amino acids, uh, but they are not complete. But if you put together, uh, leguminose and cereal, you have all the essential amino acids uh, your body cannot build by itself. You have to mix together leguminous with a uh, cereal. Great, and if we want to eat only the corn? Oh, okay, you can eat also the corn, but uh, you have to think that you don't have all the essential amino acids that is very are necessary for your body to be in shape. But can we get fat from that one? Cereals are richer in osinamids, so you can get fat. What about the potatoes? Well, the potatoes could be uh, a good alternative to bread, to white flour. You can uh, consume boiled potatoes. Could be a good idea instead of bread, pasta or pizza.